I've tried to dispel ham radio myths about antennas and transmission lines by referring to the ARRL antenna book or Reflections, Transmission Lines and Antennas by renowned antenna engineer Walt Maxwell, W2DU. Also, you can download excellent articles written by Kurt Sturba, the pen name of another antenna engineer. Both of these men attacked ham radio myths with a vengeance. But how many hams even own such a book nowadays? Probably not many, and they're not going to buy them. But they all have an internet connection. So, can we use AI sites like ChatGPT and Jiminy, which is Google's version, to get some good answers about antenna and transmission line theory. Well, let's try. Take one of the big myths. Reflected power in a transmission line can destroy the final amplifier stage of your transceiver. All right, so we have chat GPT here. Here's my question. Does reflected power in an RF transmission line damage a transmitter Or is it the impedance mismatch that can cause voltage and current spikes? Excellent question. Thank you. And you're thinking about this the right way. The short answer, reflected power does not directly cause damage. It's the impedance mismatch that creates conditions, voltage and current spikes, which can damage the transmitter. That is the correct answer. Reflected power versus impedance mismatch. Uh, Reflected power, result of an impedance mismatch. Impedance mismatch, cause of poor uh, power transfer and the creation of standing waves. That's correct. Those standing waves cause voltage and current peaks at specific points in the transmission line. If those peaks occur at the transmitter's output, they can exceed component ratings and cause damage, especially in solid-state devices. So, yeah, if you got a, a great big old standing wave right there at the transmitter, uh, that could be a problem. All right, a little summary down here. What actually causes the damage? Impedance mismatch, the root cause, reflects power and creates standing waves. Reflected power, not inherently damaging, just shows there's a mismatch. Voltage current spikes, immediate cause of possible damage. So, what happens to reflected power? Well, the myth is that it's wasted. Now, my next video will feature that question. Let's see if we can get a a good answer from chat GPT. You know, I found that if I didn't get a correct answer the first time, I rephrased the question and got a better result, not contaminated by myths. So, I'm cautiously optimistic. Hopefully, AI will make progress in busting ham radio myths. Consider subscribing to this channel and ring that bell if you'd like to be alerted to future updates and 73.